Okay, so today we're making up some nukes, um, and I'm going to show you what I do. I have some guys working ahead finding queens just to quicken the job up a little bit. Um, but typically what I do is I sort my, my hive through, uh, looking for the queen at the same time. It quickens things up, and I typically find her on my first way through. So that first one is the queen has been found. This one we haven't found the queen in yet, so I'll have to search for the queen as they go through this one making up my nukes. But this time of year, uh, we take advantage of um, of the bees uh, instinct and their drive to build their nest and what we're doing is we're going through our colonies um, and we're slashing them right down into two brood frame nukes and we're leaving that queen behind with just a little bit of brood behind and all the drift bees coming in from the day so that queen will be left with a frame frame and a half of bees and the drive and the instinct and the panic mode we set into that queen when we do that, she will reestablish that nest and turn that nest into something viable midway through summer. It's quite amazing. So we're going to make up these these nukes into two brood frames. We'll leave these colonies behind with the old queen and just a bunch of the drift bees and we'll come check them uh, in two or three weeks to see how they're making out and use them to uh, fill in dead spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to split this, how we split these hives. <clears throat> so I sent my guys ahead to find the queen to quicken up the process. That's nice. This colony is not as big so we won't split it three ways. But you just sort as you go. Brood, a nice brood frame. Another nice brood frame. This colony is done. One brood. Two brood, that nuke's done. This nuke needs another frame of brood. <clears throat> this frame has just a little bit of eggs and larvae on it, some resource. So I'm going to leave the queen home with these little bit of bees. All the drifters from the day is going to come back in here to uh, hold the population about a frame and a half of bees. frames of pollen. This is a real good way of using up some brood comb if you have extra. There, so that's how I make my nuke splits. So this next colony, I have not found the queen yet, but I'll be searching as we split this colony down. This colony is not as big, so I'm not gonna be able to take three splits from it. That one probably can be left back. Good brood frame. And there she is. Right there. going to hold her aside. Where'd she go?
nuke's done. Made another nuke and a half a nuke. So I'm going to leave the queen. It's just resources and all the drift bees. She is that. What we're doing is we're making the splits out of the hives that didn't quite make the grade earlier on. This is the yard that I set my hives out um, earlier in the year from the winter shed. So these are just the stragglers that are set out that we left behind as we grouped the yards. Scattered around. So we're just going through and we're splitting these hives right down, uh, pinching off the queens that aren't any good and then we're leaving the queens that are viable to reinstate that nest after we slash them down. So those guys are searching for queens for us and here we are pulling the bird. So the guys have already found our queens. Makes our work a little quicker. And we just simply go through and sort the honey and the brood to make up our nukes. We're looking for two good frames of Brood, make up our nukes. So we leave the queen behind with a couple frames of bees and all the drifters that come in um, are out foraging. So there will be about one or two frames of bees in these colonies. Carrie's made uh, two and a half splits out of that. I've made two splits out of this one. Um, we take these out to the yards, drop cells into them, they'll mate. And the amazing thing about this time of year where we are the 13th of June. This is the time of year where the weather is a little more predictable. There's lots of resource on hand and all the bees need to do is to be able to maintain the cluster size of that queen and the bees will go into panic mode once we strip all the brood away from them. That queen will reinstate that nest and she'll lay right to the max and she will, this time of year, we can exploit that, that uh, sense of panic. She goes into panic mode when she realizes she has no brood left. She has, you know, two frames of bees. She'll stretch that nest, and they'll re she'll reinstate that colony to be able to catch up to these nukes that we pulled out. You can't do that in May, and you have a hard time doing that in July. It's just this particular time in June where we can exploit that just before the solstice as it comes. They're in tremendous growth mode, a lot of resources out and available. Um, our nighttime lows are fairly consistent. This is, this is high time for growth in Manitoba and that's the spirit we're exploiting and we can turn just this queen with a bunch of bees left back home. This will turn into a nest uh, later on in July. We'll use these colonies to fill in splits or we'll pinch off the queen and drop in cells to reestablish the youth in the hive. So this is how we make up our, our nukes. We come through and we just slash and burn and then we have that queen rejuvenate that nest back home.